Okay, that's a praying mantis I just found in the garden. Beautiful thing. Uh, we're heading into winter time. And what I've done, and I won't be doing a complete study of this, but I'm very curious of what's going to happen here. This, of course, is Bindi, the redback spider's home. There's a big cockle roach there at the top. And if I just very carefully turn this piece over here, sorry for the dirty hands, because I'm trying to paint part of my house. We may see Bindi under here without me being bitten. Okay, there's Bindi, the redback spider. I can't calculate how many weeks old she is now, but I'll tell you what, she's not a young spider now. Okay, she's up in her little recluse area there. And we just wonder who is going to survive now that I've got the praying mantis, which is actually hiding down there. Better seen if I go like this. Will the praying mantis take out Bindi or will Bindi take out the mantis? Warning. The warning on this video has been removed, and this video is highly educational. It's the 25th of May that I'm putting the mantis in there with Bindi, the redback spider. I can only assume Bindi would be heading into winter wonderland mode, because the cusp of winter is almost upon us. And I'll just get the lid on here, and uh, be very curious who will survive in there. You can see down there, Bindi's got a moth. Uh, she only caught that yesterday. There's all sorts of other critters down in the soil there. There's my grubby hands in reflection. And my bet is that the mantis is going to lose. Uh, you may think otherwise. I'm going to put money against the redback spider, and I always will. Don't be too worried about that moth. Spidey's got to eat. This will probably take some time to play out. I'm not going to leave cameras on this all the time. I'm just going to let it play out as naturally as I can. And I know that's going to cause some rage. What's a good name for our mantis here? Hmm, Rex or Claw? What do you think? I wonder what s that is. Oops, had to beep that word out. Is it a boy or a girl? And just remember, praying mantises are non-selective hunters. So, that may play as an advantage or disadvantage in this. Like I said before, I'm putting my money against Bindi the Redback Spider. At least the Mantis is looking in the right direction and Bindi, like we saw before, is up in the egg carton shaped thing there. Maybe it's best if she stays there while the Mantis is crawling about. If I look very carefully up there into Bindi's world, uh, Bindi is a black dot there with the black legs. And at the end of this, I'm either going to have a very happy pet redback spider, or I'm going to have a very happy new praying mantis as a pet. I still say the redback's going to win. Oh my crikeys, the mantis has made a move. Uh, part of me wants to watch this, and part of me wants to look away. I think I'll let it play it as naturally as possible. And people say, oh, but it's not natural because I've got a, a glass, you know, people get angry. Okay. Let me just discuss why I'm shooting this with my iPhone and not my good camera here, which I would normally use. Okay, well, I went down to shoot the Redback Spider car wreck, the two-year one. The last time I go down there, I got caught in a rainstorm. It makes for an interesting video, but it also wrecks cameras. And I found out this camera here, which is a Canon camera, uh, gets affected by water really, really easily. And I think too easily. Now, when I go shooting with video cameras, I always take rags with me. You would have seen in the bag, when I was reaching in for other things in the bag in the video, you would have seen rags like this. That's why they're there. Man, I used all my rags that day. And what I do is I basically drape it over the camera like that. You still got your lens, you still got your screen there so you can see what you're shooting. And these were getting quite wet. It was actually a lot of rain. I wouldn't call it a light shower, it was a heavy downpour. Caught, look, I got caught out by it and I mentioned that in the video, I do believe. Um, unfortunately, the camera got quite wet. This section here got, I think, a lot of water. And what I found was, well, about three days after that shoot, I started to realize all these buttons started not to work. And that's, you know, uh, the menu button and stuff. And you're probably saying, well, as long as you can turn the camera on, you can get to most things in this camera on the back uh, screen here because it is a touch screen one. The problem is I've sort of lost a lot of the functions off this very important wheel here. And I was hoping I was going to get some of these back. Some of them I've got back, and the one that I like to use, or two that I like to use, or should I say two like that, uh, I have lost. And when I shot St. Luke's Model Railway Exhibition, it was stuck in P mode, which is there. At the moment it's in P, but as you can see, I've got it in auto. So there's something about this wheel here, and at the moment I can't remember its official name, 
And if I turn that to TV, that's the mode I normally shoot in, that one there, I'll just go closer. That's like shutter priority, it gives you control over the shutter by turning that. I'm in shutter priority but I'm still in P. Okay, and if I, I might be lucky, I might get AV, sometimes I'll get other things flash up. So I'm in aperture priority there, but I'm still stuck in P mode. Uh, manual mode I like to shoot in as well. Uh, it's all locked up, okay? If I twig this enough, oh! Oh, I thought I had something good then. If I twig this, sometimes I'll get other things. I might get auto, or I might get nothing. Um, but what I don't like, and I'll just zoom out here for a second, is if I take this to get repaired, and I've got to be honest, I've got to say this has been affected by water, and I think um, I think they're going to say, well, this is a write-off. But what I don't like is how easily this camera got affected by water. And I had to think back, how many times has this camera been in water? On February 8th, I think we had a big storm here, uh, a rainstorm. It was like a cyclone. I used this camera, I'm pretty sure it got a little bit wet. And I also shot two dust storms, or should I say like that, during our summer. Very unusual we had two dust storms. One sort of semi-major one and one minor one. Um, but I think this camera's a write-off, unless you can tell me otherwise. Uh, I've done all I can to dry this camera out. I've used electronic spray, especially in this area here. I have done everything I can. And I was, well, people said it takes time, but I've been, well, basically trying to suck moisture out of this for now. Well, it feels like a month and a bit. I think that camera is cactus. When I started reading web pages about some other Canon cameras um, and how easily they're affected by water and people saying, well, for things that are not cheap, uh, why are they so easily affected by water? When the thing that I'm shooting this video with here, which is an iPhone, uh, this phone has been under my pool basically from day one. It's been wet many, many times. It's never affected by water. But I think I've learned a bit of a lesson about uh, that camera there. Whether or not I get another Canon in my life, I don't think so. I'm hoping some of my audience uh, know about Canon cameras, whether they're good or bad or indifferent around water. Maybe I've just been very unlucky. It did get very wet at the Redback Spider car wreck, and no matter what I did with my rags there, I think that camera's lost. Let's just finish the video up and see what is going on inside here. And I'm trying not to get the reflection on my shirt or you'll be laughing at me. Uh oh, where's the madness? Oh, there it is. It's uh, doing a very madnessy thing. It's up there. Being very mantis. I actually know the outcome of what goes on between Bindi the Redback Spider and the nameless praying mantis. Maybe let's just lay off on giving it a name yet until we see an outcome, hey? What I'd like you to do is tell me who is going to be the winner out of these two. Is it going to be Bindi the Amazing Redback Spider or the wonderful and beautiful nameless praying mantis? Bindi is about seven months old. Let's just assume she was born back in Halloween of last year. She's not a fully grown redback spider yet, but I wouldn't put anything past her. As for the praying mantis, I don't think it's fully grown yet. It's got little wings. It has tried to fly, but it can't fly. Like I said, I don't know whether it's a boy or a girl. I'm sure you'll tell me, but it's nowhere near the size of the giant praying mantis that Mrs. John Cena cleaned up a couple of years back, back when it was the good old days on YouTube, back when things were a little bit looser. Unfortunately, today's YouTube is quite restrictive and what we can show the audience these days is a massive choke on producers to conform to, well, basically making very boring content. Very, very sadly, today's YouTube is nothing like the YouTube that I started on way back in 2007. If only we could go back in time, back to when it was great. Maybe I'll finish with something completely and utterly positive. We can sort of see it in reflection there. And if I take the camera around nice and slow, dun, 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 it only took about five months to get here. And finally I can go back in there and make some videos. But um, the workshop there where I make my videos is a brand bank and new roof. In fact, the whole house has been totally re-roofed. And thank you to all the people who helped me online in understanding things about tiles.